Hi everyone, I'm Priya Padden from Data School Cohort 21 and today I am going to be showing you how to format your charts for emphasis using both the size and colour marks cards and a parameter. Being able to emphasise something on a chart can draw attention to it and make it stand out, which can be very useful when there are a number of points clustered together. So, let's get started. Now that we have opened Tableau, we can begin by creating a simple scatter plot. So let's drag sales to columns and profit to rows. Now we can drag and drop product name to detail. Our next step is to create a parameter that is populated with all of the product names. So we can create a parameter and when we have the create parameter window, we can name our parameter, for example, choose a product, change the data type to string, select list as the allowable value and then on the right hand side where it says add values from we can click this and then select product name. This will automatically populate all of the values for us. Now we can click OK and then show the parameter. Now we can create our calculated field. We can call this selected product and we will enter in our parameter equals and then product name and then click OK. Now we can drag and drop our new calculated field onto size on the marks card. And we can also drag and drop it onto colour. We can now adjust the formatting accordingly. So if we go into the colour legend on the right hand side by double clicking on it, now we can change the colour of both true when a particular product is selected and false when the product is not selected. So I'm going to double click on false and make it a grey colour and then double click on true and make it blue and then click OK. In order for the product that is selected to appear in front of the other product marks we can drag true on the colour legend so that it comes before false. Now we can see that the selected product is at the top. We can then do the same thing for the size by double clicking on the size legend. Now we can see that the true is smaller than false, so we can check the reverse checkbox to swap the sizes. Then we can simply adjust both to the size that we would like and then click OK. If we go to our marks card, and click the shape icon, we could also change the shapes to whatever we would like. I'm going to change mine to a filled circle shape. You may also want to reduce the opacity of the shapes so you can see them better, especially when they are clustered like this. We have now added both size and colour to our chart to add emphasis. We can also select a particular product which will then highlight it on our scatter plot. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you feel more confident now with formatting your charts to add emphasis. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you may find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love the video about adding more context to your dashboard by my colleague Valeria. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.